Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, today's video is going to be a kind of casual vlog style video. Um, it's not really a vlog. I mean, I guess it kind of is. Right now, I am sitting outside of my mom's house. I'm getting ready to go in. Yesterday, I made cookies with her, and we also made cinnamon applesauce ornaments because she had made them on her own and brought some to me a week or two ago, and they are so cute. They look so cute on my little naked tree that is no longer naked, so when I get home, I'm going to show you guys how they look on the tree, and I will put the recipe for them down below. They're super easy to make, really fun. Um, so I'm gonna grab those from her because she they just take a few hours in the oven So I had to leave before they were done um, If she will let me take you guys on a quick tour of her Christmas decorations Then I will do that also while I'm up there. Um, I posted a lot of videos on Instagram yesterday on my stories of her Christmas decorations and I got so many messages from you guys saying that you loved her decorations. It's very traditional and collected. It's all stuff from my childhood that I've been talking about to you guys this Christmas season. So that'll be fun for you guys to see if you've kind of been enjoying the stories or you're interested in my inspiration. So we will do that. And I've promised you guys a little antique store haul. So I filmed that last night. Just I flipped my camera around and did it old school style because everything that I got is like itty bitty so well most things are so it was just I tried to film sitting far back and the things were just too small so hopefully you guys will like seeing my little finishing touches for Christmas and let's see what else um tonight I'm making dinner for a friend and her husband who just had their first baby a couple weeks ago so I'm just gonna safely drop that off to them so that they can um, not worry about dinner and just spend time with their little one. So I really do have to kind of make this video short and sweet. I hope that it's enough to put together something for you guys and that you will actually enjoy it. So let's go into my mom's house. I have my little Christmas disposable mask. I found these, a pack of 10 of them for $5.99 at TJ Maxx. They're really, really cute and I've got to get my use out of them. Oh, you probably can't hear me. I've got to get my use out of them before Christmas gets here. So anyways, time to go inside. I will see you in there. This is my mom's cat, Tony. He is such a little stinker. He's so cute though. He was helping us make um, ornaments yesterday, wasn't he? <laughs> helping is a good way to describe it. <laughs> helping may not be totally accurate. So these are the ornaments and they are so cute. These ones smell very strong, I think. We did all stars because we just like the way that the stars looked. So let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Our recipe made about 17 of these. Did you say your last recipe made 15? Okay, so anywhere from like 15 to 17 ornaments you can make with the recipe. <laughs> okay, so Tony, you'll see Connor as we go. So here's my mom's Christmas tree. She doesn't put as many glass ornaments on her tree anymore because of the cats, right mom? Yes. But these are all kind of old collected ornaments. Some are newer. Um... And some, childhood uh, decorations. Yeah, they're from the, our childhoods, and some are even from your childhood on here. Yeah. So, like, here's a little. How old is this little shiny bright mom? That's probably 40 years old. She believes this is like 40 years old. So, Connor, no barking. And yeah, so her tree is actually from either Lowe's or Home Depot. And I don't know if they have it anymore because this is her fourth or fifth Christmas with it. But here's me as a baby. Um, I told you guys quite a bit about her Nutcracker collection. And this is just a very minuscule portion of what she had at one point. Some are really, really old. Most are at least a few, at least like 
five or ten years old at this point, right? Oh, probably close Your newer ones, you think, are 20 years old? No, but I think the majority So she thinks most of them are at least 20 years old um, or older. Here is the first smoker that they ever had, which I told you guys about the smokers. A friend of theirs gave this to my brother, so my parents' first child when he was born, and he is 38 now. 39. 39, so that's 39 years old. Here's another one, but sometimes you lose the legs to them, so his legs are gone. Mom. This is also like a larger smoker. And he's the Sandman. I don't know what that means, but that's what he is. And then this is my dad's vintage lion out train and the tv's going so i apologize if you guys can hear that and here are some more nutcrackers and smokers this one was my favorite go uh, growing up and he is the toy guy what would you call him the toy maker and he's missing toys and a limb <laughs> But he was my favorite. He probably had a pipe in his mouth at one point too, but he does not anymore. Um, so yeah, we have just quite a few. So moving over from here, we'll look at the coffee table. My mom does it the same every year with a wreath and a bowl full, full of pretty ornaments. And at one point she had really gorgeous glass ornaments that went in here that were the same color scheme. But those went, either went missing or they broke. What happened with when those? When we moved, they were lost with the decorations for the little tree. So when my parents moved into this condo, um, all of my mom's decorations went missing because my mom had her set of own decorations that only she did anything with and then like, <laughs> Um, she would decorate areas of the house. My dad would decorate other areas of the house, but hers sadly went missing. And so this was her tree that she had so many collected ornaments from back when she was a teacher, like 40 plus years ago, and they're all gone. So a few years back, we started collecting new ornaments to go on this tree and some are from the main Christmas tree, but this is what it looks like. And it's always the funnest little tree. You got this from where? Big Lots? Big Lots in the year 2000. She got this from Big Lots 20 years ago. So, my favorite thing though is what's below it. So I'm trying to get down. We have some rocking horse nutcrackers and then she does have some of these little galvanized houses from Walmart. Um, and then her vintage duck decoy, and then her vintage punch-out tin lanterns, which are probably as old. Or are they as old, Mom? No. But they're old? They're old. We purchased them in the 70s, but I don't know how old they are. They're from the 70s. So that is her tree. And then she's in a condo. She's on um, an upper floor, so... She has a really nice view out into the park that's behind her house. But she has another nutcracker, and Tony's going to pay us a visit. But a nutcracker in a bowl here with some lights. Hi, Tony. I like your little ear feathers. Okay, so we'll, we'll finish up. Or no, we still have a little bit more to go. So here's the dining table. Looks really pretty. Everybody has a nutcracker on their place setting or near their place setting. And then my parents had a Scottish Terrier before I actually had Chip. That's what inspired us to get um, that breed. So they have a couple of these Scottish Terrier little things that are from Home Goods, probably like five, six, seven years ago. And on her buffet, she has more nutcrackers, and this very, very old nativity scene. Was this your mom's? That was my mom's, yes. So this was her mom's, and all the pieces are very old. 
and down below more nutcrackers and this vintage truck this is truly vintage or maybe even antique at this point oh that's very antique yeah um it was my grandfather's and that's just really cool i love that so the last stop would be my mom's wine hutch let me see if i can get her dog connor He's my little baby brother. Hi, Connor. Look cute in your sweater. He's a good boy, but he's very protective, so that's why he's been barking in the background because he hears people coming in and out of her condo building. So this is the wine hutch. Lots of nutcrackers, again, and wine. <laughs> um, and cardinals, as you can see. And Santa's. And Santa's. She has these sconces, which she wants to switch out for brass sconces, right, Mom? She has old br brass sconces. Someday. <laughs> Someday, maybe. But, um, oh, yeah, and up top there's more Santas. Um, so, another little smoker. And... Oh, here's your little tree, Mom, that you found at the antique mall. Your little... That's it. Yeah, I brought it out to show you today. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's really cute. We're going to make these maybe next year mm -hmm. if we don't have time this year to do them. And these are the large nutcrackers, or larger, I would say. And then lastly, her grandfather clock. I always love this. She puts just some greenery and a bow on it. It looks really pretty. So that is my mom's Christmas home tour. Okay, you guys, I hope you can hear me because I have my mask on, but I'm in her hallway and I thought I would just show you on my way out. She decorates the living spaces or the common spaces here. So anyways, I'm on my way out. My phone's dying, so. I gotta stop filming. Oh wait, hold on, there's a little bit more. <laughs> so cute. You guys, so I was pulling out and her neighbors have a bunch of deer in their yard. The camera is vibrating because I had it sitting on the steering wheel. Her neighbors feed the deer. Um, and they back up to a metro park. Um, nobody really goes in. This is like a wooded area that nobody goes into. It's more of a preserve, I guess. Is that the right word? I don't know, but um, there's usually turkeys too, but I don't see any right now, just the deer. But are those Santa's reindeer? I'm not sure. Okay, you guys, so now on to my little antique vintage haul. Mostly everything is from um, an antique mall near me, and then I have uh, some Facebook Marketplace finds. But let's get through this quickly. It's just little trinkets, um, just my little finishing touches. I got this bag of vintage uh, candle clips. My mom uses these on one of her Christmas trees. She always has for as long as I can remember. So I, they look like this up close. They have like definitely a Williamsburg sort of inspired vibe. I don't know if these ones are how old they are. They look pretty old, but they were only $5 and I've seen these cost a lot more. But I have, my camera's going to have a hard time focusing, these battery operated candles that are just on little generic green clips and they kind of fit in here. And look a little bit better in here so I might put these on my you guys this is the second time I dropped something in this video oh my gosh for 50 cents and they are very vintage mm -hmm. oh god uh. okay wow what a mess so anyways that's how they look in here and I might Put these all over my little tree that I have these candles on just to make it look they do not fit that well obviously just to make it look a little bit better so that was the first thing I got next I got these um, unopened candy cane ornaments I love when they're like still in the original packaging and you can see 
the tags on them. No idea how old these are, but I grew up with these on my Christmas tree growing up and I'm 30 this year. So these could potentially be 30 years old. I don't know, but, um, they brought back a funny memory of when I was a kid. I kind of had a love hate relationship with these because I always wanted real candy canes on the tree and my parents would always say, no, we have these. And I just thought it would be so cool to t put real candy canes on the tree and take them off to eat. So I kind of like, you know, I kind of low key didn't really like these, but it's just the funny memory that made me get them. So I got that. This guy, I don't think he's old, but it's a little wooden Pinocchio ornament. My mom has a Pinocchio ornament and she also has like, he's not a nutcracker, but he's like a Christmas decoration, like a nutcracker a bigger Pinocchio and you can switch out his nose and I believe he's actually from Italy. So I grabbed him, he was like a buck or two. I grabbed these little vintage bells, there's four of them. They're real brass bells. They don't all match, but they're just so darling. I wanna say these were $6 for the set of four. So I wish they were a little bit cheaper, but I really don't mind paying a, a couple extra dollars for these things that are you know, unique that you don't, you can't really get your hands on in the same quality or in the same look anymore. So I would love to keep collecting these and make a vintage bell garland or maybe have enough to put a few on each one of our stockings. So those I am definitely gonna be looking out for at the antique mall. I filmed this once already and I was showing you guys these ornaments and I dropped one and it shattered into a million little pieces on the floor. It was crazy and then my mind kind of went blank, but I have two dogs so I quickly was like, oh crap, I gotta turn off the camera, get the dog somewhere safe and get it cleaned up. But I did have three of these, um, this larger size. I have a smaller size in here too. But I got these larger ones when I was at the antique mall. They were 50 cents each and then the booth was 20% off. So they were super cheap and you can see just how old they are. I love them. Um, I just wanted them to fill in this little colander that you guys probably saw in my home tour if you've already watched that. Next, I grabbed this little vintage Santa ornament. He is plastic, but I believe he's really old. He looks super old. Um, and he was, I wanna say $2. You can hang him up off of his little um, hook there, but he stands up on his own too. As you can see, he is just a darling little piece and I actually put him in my coffee station and I just love the way he looks. The largest thing that I got is this Santa here. He was $15 and he had a tag that said that he's very vintage. So no clue how old he is, um, but you can see he's like made out of this gummy tan looking plastic and then painted over if that says is, is any indicator of what time he came from. But I thought that um, because he's metallic, he's a little bit more elegant than like the normal vintage Santa that you see, but he still has that old kind of antique heirloom look. So just my vibe, I got him and he has made his home here in the kitchen. So he doesn't need anything. I just think he's a statement enough on his own. So I'm happy that I picked him up. My favorite find though is this box of vintage ornament hangers. I love vintage ornament hangers. Um, whenever I buy a vintage ornament and it still has a hook on it, I get so excited because they are just so high quality. Even after being 50, 60, 70 years old, they are still like 10 times better quality than the ones that exist on the market now. So they have a special place in my heart. So I had never seen the little boxes of them before. And when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, that's coming home with me. I have the perfect spot to display it. This was $3 and both sides are really cute. I love that you can um, clearly make out the box, but that it still has that really old tattered look to it. And there are ornaments in or ornament hangers in here, but they are completely rusted and deteriorated. Um, so I won't be using them, but I'm gonna leave them in the box. Just, I think it's really special. So next I started a small collection of vintage and antique postcards. So I was watching, I think his name is Christopher Heidelman. I'll link him down below, but he had a vintage postcard wreath um, that he made and I was just in love with it. 
And I actually think I saw him do something with fall and Halloween postcards in the fall time. So I had inquired with a person on Facebook Marketplace um, who had a listing for vintage Halloween postcards and she had already sold them. So I kind of let the postcard thing go, but then my friend Jen was out antiquing and she came across some and she inspired me to look for Christmas ones. So I found these and I did pay a little bit more for these. Um, this one looks like this. And as you can see, it was $5. But this is so sweet. First of all, um, if you can see here, you can see that it's dated 19 something. It's 191 and then you can't make out the last number. So this is at least 100 years old. The stamp on it was only one cent and um, it came from Marlowe Center, Ohio, which I'm not familiar with. But it was so sweet to be able to read the message on here. It says, hello, how are you and all the rest I know out there. I am feeling fine and dandy, hoping, you're, hoping you have a good time Christmas. And I just think that message is so sweet. The verbiage on it is so cute. Like people still say fine and dandy, but in a sarcastic way. But this person was actually saying it like as just their normal cheery kind of dialect. So I just thought that was so cool. So this is a true antique. I also got these two. So this one looks like that. It was $4. And this one is dated for 1922. So this one is probably about 99 years old at this point. And then this one has the vintage Santa. And it is dated for 1920 of two, uh, 1925, so this one is almost 100 years old also, and it says from your Sunday school teacher. And this one was $4. So I splurged a little bit on these, but the collector from the Halloween time, she ended up messaging me because she listed her um, vintage, her vintage Christmas um, postcards, and she sold me this set of 13 for ten dollars and i asked her for some duplicates i asked her for some duplicates because these aren't really worth anything i mean she sold them to me for less than a dollar a piece and i thought um, i do have other friends who are into vintage stuff that i could actually write on some of these and send them out since they're not like i said not worth any money that would be a fun surprise so i got two of this kind i mean we won't go through them all but you can see there's some really fun ones. And she said that these are from the 1930s. The last thing that I forgot to show you guys from the antique mall is this um, vintage milk glass goblet compote vase style thing. I um, have shared multiple times on my channel that I love making floral arrangements. And so I bought this to do those in um, because you can put floral foam in the bottom and you can't see it and it helps you to uh, be able to create a really beautiful arrangement like this. So the little vase was I think $4. And if you guys want a tutorial before Christmas on how to make a fresh floral centerpiece that looks like this, let me know. I'd be happy to make that for you. It is so pretty to just have that in your home for the holidays. So. That is the last thing from the antique. Okay, you guys, I lost track of time and I've got to run out the door and drop this dinner off to my friend. But I have some of these ornaments on the tree and it's dark out. I wish it was a little bit lighter so you could see them better. But they are so cute on the tree and these are the ones that my mom dropped off like a week or two ago. But um, I'm going to put the rest of them on here too. I might switch out the ribbon she used a raffia i was thinking maybe like a velvet ribbon would be pretty and then here is what the candles look like in the candle clips they are not the candles are not staying inside of the candle clip so i've only done one for now and i'm gonna decide if i should even try the others but it's, it's cute right i really like it let me see if i can put some light on so you can see it a little bit better the ornaments in the tree Okay, so I put my flash on. It's not a great 
Not a great look, but you can see the ornaments a little bit better. They're just so cute. They would be adorable if you maybe like got white hot glue and outlined them and made them look like gingerbread cookies because that's what they really look like. They're super adorable. All right, you guys, as you can maybe tell by the robe, it is the end of the night. I am getting ready to settle down and I forgot to film an outro. So here is my outro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.